بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله شيخ عبد الرزاق he ended his short talk explaining the dua اللهم عني عني على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك O oh Allah, I seek your assistance in remembering you and being grateful to you and having, uh, you know, perfect ibadah to you and perfecting my ibadah to you. So you're seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help to assist you in worshiping him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He ended it by saying, ثُمَّ تَنَبَّهُ أَيُّ الْمُسْلِمُ إذا دعوت الله بهذه الدعوة دبر الصلاة اللهم عني على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اتبع دعاء بسبب أبدل السبب لتكون ذاكر لتكون شاكر لتكون محسنا في عبادتك لله تبارك وتعالى He says O oh Muslim I, It is noteworthy that if you supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this dua at the end of every salat Allahumma anni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husn ibadatika and then you follow up the supplication with uh, a reason or you know with a uh, a, a, a means of, of fulfilling that that dua so striving to be of those who remember, to be uh, making dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to be of those who are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and those who are perfecting their worship, and by, by perfecting your worship of Allah, the exalted and majestic. طلب العون وبدل الأسباب فوزت بخير الدنيا والآخرة وحققت قول النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام أحرص على ما ينفعك واستعن بالله ولا تعجزنا ولا تعجزنا so then the Shaykh he said basically that if you practice that you're you're supplicating this supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you begin to practice by being of those uh, you know you practice at the same time by uh, being those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know by making dhikr and being of those who are grateful being grateful of the blessings and the ni'am he's provided for you, for you and by being of those who strive to perfect their worship, your salat, your soul, your, all the acts of ibadah that you do, that you strive to perfect it. Uh, to Allah the exalted and majestic. And if you combine these two affairs, seeking his assistance and striving to fulfill those actual things that you're asking him for, then you will be successful in this life as, uh, in, in, with the good in this life as well as the hereafter. And you will have fulfilled the statement of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam where he said, <coughs> Then you will be fulfilling the statement of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said and he ordered and he commanded uh, strive to do that which benefits you and seek and, and turn your affairs seek uh, the help of Allah and do not be lazy with regards to this so then you will be seeking to fulfill so here the sheikh is mentioning in general as a recap that you need to supplicate with this supplication in the end of your in the end of your salat and that you need to make the effort to attain those things because here you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to assist you 
with remembering him. So then strive to increase your remembrance of Allah. And you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to assist you in being thankful to him. So then you should reflect on the blessings of Allah and be thankful. And you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you in perfecting your ibadah. So you should make honest effort to perfect your ibadah, perfect your salat and other acts of worship. That it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that you are doing it sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that you should uh, busy your, with yourself with those things which benefit you. And seek the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not be lazy with regards to those things and you will be successful in this life as well as the hereafter and then he ends with a dua and he says As-salallah and yu'inani wa iyyakum ala dhikrihi wa shukrihi wa husni ibadatihi wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala rasulillah the shaykh ends by supplicating for himself and for you and I and the listeners who were attending this short talk that he mentioned and he said and I ask Allah to assist me and assist you in remembering him and being thankful and grateful to him and having uh, perfecting our worship of him and Allah knows best and may peace and blessings be upon the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم